Eric here at GoodAC.net. Thank you all for watching my previous videos, but I think it's important that I inform all my patients and clients on that marine air conditioning takes air, water, and power. And this water part, part of the project is the most significant. We get the most calls for heat, heat floor codes and high pressure related codes, all due to water. A lot of times because of these water lines may be contaminated, plugged up, and it may actually be within the heat exchanger itself. This is an old Dometic unit. Uh, the compressor totally failed on this. Uh, this is the biggest part of our work is replacing the Dometic cruise air type units. At this point, they're over 20 years old. But I just want to kind of show you guys my system, the way I came up with it. Um, basically, we have a T, and the garden hose coming in with 40 PSI here coming into the inbound unit, going through the heat exchanger, back out the outbound side and through the through haul of the boat and going out. And then here we've got 120 PSI of air pushing a water column through this T. So water's coming down through here into there, pushing the water column and we can just blast the water out and all the debris. You guys can see that debris coming out of there. Okay, this is just water. As you can see, water with the air. You can see how significantly it's like power washing the inside of your lines. 